Hello, my name is Katherine Crowley. I'm a distinguished senior lecturer in the program of speech language pathology at Teachers College, Columbia University in New York. This is one in a series of video tutorials on strategies to meet the needs of people with communication disabilities. I'd like to introduce you to my friend and colleague, Anthony Demois, who is a teacher of students with special needs in Ghana. Communication passport provides important information about people with communication difficulties. When they get lost or find themselves in a situation where they cannot find uh, their way back home. Communication passport is just like government passport, which contains the name of a child, his age, his address, contact numbers, and any other important information that the child might need. How do we make communication passports? What are the things we need? In the first place, you need cardboard, then a pair of scissors, pieces of paper cut in this size or any size you would like to. Then you need also a glue and colored pencils. You cut the cardboard into a rectangular shape. You draw the object, which is the cover, in a very nice way. Then, on the pieces of paper, you write the needs, the likes, and whatever you want to write about the child in this form. Then you paste it with a glue on the pages. My name is Bernard Pibansa. My son is Seletin. He was uh, diagnosed with uh, autism a little over seven years ago. My name is Salete. I am 10 years old. I have autism, which means I have trouble communicating. Family and friends. I live with my dad, daddy, mommy, brother, and a sister. I am the middle child. I live at Gulf Estate in Tema. School. I go to school at the Autism Awareness Care and Training Center. Communication. I can communicate using Makaton Sign Language. I also speak English, but only a few words. Medical information. I have asthma. If I have a, an asthma attack, it may be because I have a malaria. Please call my daddy or mommy. I like to skate and ride my bike. When I'm excited, I scream and wave my hands in the air. I may grab things I like. Please be patient with me. Eating. I like to eat pastries. I love to eat rice. Contact information about the parents is also provided. Okay. It should be visible so that anybody who is crossing or who is nearer to the child can easily identify it. The communication passport can be hanged around the child's neck or be put into his pocket or in the bag behind him. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you, Kate. I'm very grateful to you for introducing Communication Passport in my school. It has been of a very great help to me, my pupils, my community, and in general, the teachers and parents of the children who are using the Communication Passport. And they will wish like they see you and give you their thumbs up. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>